guys, this is Eric Day from ACS Learning Hub. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share my past experience before you learn the lesson. In this week's video, I'm going to share with you how I determine my trading strategy. I believe you have heard many how to determine your trading strategy. So a lot of time in the past, I went to many different classes hosted by many different gurus. So at a, at a point of time, uh, I was like thinking, wow, this is good. Wow, the way he present and I think I'm going to make money. I'm going to be a millionaire in no time. All right. <laughs> I guess uh, we have the same thoughts and uh, I think uh, all of you there out there also have the same thinking that, okay, now I look at your video, the next moment I will become a millionaire. Am I right? Alright, so that is something uh, I guess uh, many of us uh, out there will be thinking. So, but the point here is that that is not really very true. Because in my, if you have seen my video in the past, okay, one of the video was talking about, you know, when you are trading, we always look out for consistency. We always look out for consistent profit. But we've forgotten about the driver behind the wheels, correct? So you got to be the driver behind the wheels. So how? What kind of strategy should I apply so that I can become a good trader, a consistent, profitable trader? So we are the driver behind the wheels. Exactly. So how? Now, I'm not talking about how to become a good trader. I'm talking about how to determine my trading strategy. So a lot of confusion, am I right? When we attend a, uh, when we attend a course, when we learn something new, we started to confuse ourselves. Oh, this is good. It's better than the one that I have. Okay, uh, this is better compared to the one I'm trading with, you know. So a lot of confusion. So when there's a lot of confusion, you are unable to become a consistent, profitable trader. Why? It's because you do not know which strategy to use. Oh, somebody tell me RSI, somebody tell me support and resistance, somebody tell me using EMA or using MA by different settings or some even using support and resistance, somebody use swing. Oh huh. my God, there are so many st strategy out there in the world. But then again is that you yourself, how to determine a strategy for yourself? First thing first, I do not know and I got myself so confused. That was my past experience. Then. When I really sit down, okay, go into the valley in my mind, deep in, then I realize that the driver behind the wheels. <laughs> the driver behind the wheels is very important. Okay, so the trader. So what is inside a trader that is really that important? The trader must know what to do. So the trader must know what best fits him, correct? So in the F1 race, why are there Ferrari? Why are there Renault, correct? Why are there so many other brands of the car? Because every car, every drivers, they are trained and they know how to handle it. So same thing, as for a trader, you have gone through many classes, many courses, and you know, you know that there are many strategies and you know all the strategy by heart but you do not know which strategy best fits you okay i do not know as well so in the past i, I i've been trading with a lot of a different kind of a strategy that confused me so much that sometimes i make profit sometimes i don't that it become an inconsistent okay so from there i realized that all these are a killer because I only know when I trade on this strategy, it don't go well, I go to the next master. Okay. When the next master taught me something not going well, I go to the next one. I go to the next one and so on, so on, so on. So in one of my videos, I was talking about hot learning. So this is what I'm doing. What I have not, what I'm doing. So what I was doing, okay, in the past. But all of them are useful because all strategy makes money. Then I realized, something is wrong. Drivers behind the wheels comes back to me, this phrase. So when this phrase, 
driver becomes you know the driver driver behind the wheels driver behind the wheels i've been thinking how to become the driver behind the wheels how to become the trader behind the trading platform ha huh. then i started to know where well, if i want to know then i must make sure i find the right tools so how to find the right tools now okay so straight to the point by looking out uh, right tools in your trading first of all you need to understand there are three factors that is very important in your trading okay so in my trading number one i need to identify the trend number two i need to find out where is the right point to enter for a trade number three i need to see is it strong enough for me to sell or is it strong enough for me to buy these three factors correct so there are three factors number one analyze the trend number two find how strong it can go in your favor of the direction number three where is your entry okay so by looking out of these three all right by looking out of these three you can take away a lot of confusion so now by fulfilling these three factors what should we do for example okay i'm going to use support and resistor okay let's put an example support and resistor so what am i going to do is that back test okay i'm going to look through over the weekend look through look through look through all the history first back testing first okay then look through the history back test the idea of the trading strategy then i started to use a demo demo account all right i'm going to use a demo account to enter a trade enter a hundred trades entering a hundred trades correct 100 wow that's very very long you know a lot of time going to put in well let's say if i have from now if i have the next 40 years to go i'm going to use one year to master this to find the right tools does that matter that doesn't matter am i right okay so importantly is that we must find the right tools okay we must find the right tools so in this 100 trades i will be telling myself i must persevere on i must persevere on to stick on one strategy using this strategy to trade and finish this 100 trades mission in order to tell me right is this strategy am i good enough does it fit into me that i will be using it in future so i'll be consistently persevere on 100 trades first then 20 30 40 50 100 all right so then i will look through how many per how is the ratio what's the percentage of the winning rate i have okay so once i got it let's say 70 all right that's good okay 70 let's say it's good or perhaps it's only 20 30 ah it's a waste of time you know i only achieved 20 all right so it's okay move on right move on so if you are able to achieve 70 80 okay or perhaps even 60 right that means to say there are 40 percent of space that you there are something that contribute the losses that you can only achieve 60 percent so from there work on it what is something that you have done positive in the positive trade focus on that part okay look through look back again those positive traits then focus on that fo focus on that positive trade ask yourself how did you analyze a trade what's the emotion during you enter a trade how do you hold that trade to your profit to your take profit position okay so ask yourself then from there all right you work on again another 100 trades you probably will see the the moment you and you enter the moment you take a profit the moment you look back your the next 100 trade you will see the percentage increase and you will know that is your tools with the combination of your emotion and your thoughts then you will realize that is the right tools for you then i will determine that 
this is the strategy I will be using in future. So along the way, the next 100 trade will be in my live account. So I will start using my live account to, 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 to actually backtest, uh, to test it again, this time around with real money because real money trigger emotion, am I right? So am I able to trade it with emotionless? Ah, okay. So I will be working on it. Okay, this is the structure, no entry means no entry. If this is the structure to enter a trade, I will enter a trade, okay? So this is very important. So this is how I determine my strategy. I always ask myself and I always ask myself and I always ask myself, am I the driver behind the wheels? Am I the trader behind the trading platform? So that's very important. So if I am, what constitute me as a trader? The right tools. Okay, so how to get the right tools? Back test it and go a hundred trades in a demo account to see whether is this the right one for you. If it's not, move on, right? If it's achieving a 60%, a 70%, work on it to achieve to 80 and 90%, right? Okay, so you must know, you must need time and you must give the commitment to find the right tools so that in future, don't bother about the noises in the market that my tools is better than yours. As long as you are a 90% profitable trader or just a consistent profitable trader of 60%, you are already a winner. All right, okay. So once again, I hope this video help you. And I hope you like this video by giving me a like, subscribe and ring up the bell. This time around, can I ask for you to like, subscribe, and ring up the bell again, okay? <laughs> that is my structure, am I right? At the end of the video, okay? So yes, guys. So I hope you did like this video. I shall see you next week. This is Eric Day from ACS Learning Hub. See you. Okay.